choker problems like yes there's a gap hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be doing a march favorites is it march yeah it's the end of march and it's gone so quick blah de ya de ya de ya if you would like to know my favorites of the month of march carry on watching so starting off with beauty of course in the month of March, and I'm not kidding, I have been using pretty much every single day the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I, oh, I'm in a relationship with this. I love this. I can't explain my love for this palette. I am so glad I did buy it eventually, and it was so worth the price. Like, every single colour I can wear and it's so suitable for this time of year especially because it's a little bit more colour and more pinks and orange and they're my favourite colours to wear in summer especially and just look at it I'm not kidding, when I bought this I thought I'd find it quite hard to wear pink but you can really easily mix these colours so I like to mix Love Letter if it's a bit too pink with um, burnt orange or these two colours at the bottom I just think they all really mix together and they, or every single colour just is beautiful and they're so pigmented this is the best palette I actually own the quality is like beyond 100% on the scale it is beautiful and I love wearing it because I feel like when I wear it it's quite glam and at the moment I have been obsessed with red pink eyeshadow on the lash line with winged liner I just think I'm so ready for this spring makeup now and I have been wearing this to death and I reckon I, this will be like my go-to summer palette it's so worth the price it's so worth the hype so definitely get this palette because you will be like yep G was right she knows her palettes because this is my holy grail holy shamoli oh my next favourite of March, I have been really obsessed with red and I don't know why, I am just obsessed with the colour red. I think it's slightly to do with my hair because I have gone slightly more blonder and I'm going to go get, I'm going to keep going back getting more blonde put in my ends of my hair. I think wearing red lipstick, I don't know what it is, it just really brings out the blonde in my hair. I have been obsessingly obsessingly obsessed I just love this I have non-stop been wearing this liquid lipstick and this is the Balm Meet Matte Hues liquid lipstick now I don't I feel like not many people know about the Balm Cosmetics like liquid lipsticks apart from they're the people who created the Balm Mary Lou and obviously that is one of the most amazing highlights but the liquid lipsticks are no joke incredible this is a really, really, really good formula. You put it on and it dries completely matte, kisser-proof, literally like not one... I don't know why I'm doing it because I've got Kat Von D on today, but I would compare this to Kat Von D. It is pretty much the same formula. Apart from this has a really nice peppermint taste to it. I will wear this all day. I will eat through it, drink through it, and it will not bleed or smudge. It is incredible and when I know I am going to be eating for a meal or whatever I literally know to wear this because I know it won't budge and I won't have to top it up. I just hate that about red lipsticks when I have to, there's nothing worse than wearing a red lipstick and when you eat it all smudges around your lips, it just annoys me and it lasts through Menandos and the Chinese, that is a good red liquid lipstick. So definitely if you haven't checked out the Balm liquid lipsticks this one is in the shade Trustworthy and it's like a brick red. Definitely check them out. This has literally been on my lips this whole month. It's the only liquid lipstick I've wore and it is so beautiful. I just love it. So my third favourite of this month is this brush. Now, I had to check in case I mentioned this, but I've not mentioned this brush before and I have been really struggling finding a highlighting brush. Because my like face and features are quite small, I really struggle finding the perfect highlighting brush because the highlighting brush I was using before pretty much like took up my whole under eye space and cheekbones. And I think for highlight, you've got to be more precise on where you put it. And 
when I got the Spectrum Rose Gold set for my birthday last year, I I love this brush because it's so big and this is basically a really really big eyeshadow brush. It's got a massive head on it and I feel like I could never use this for eyeshadow because it's so big. This wasn't really getting used, I either used it for concealer or just for setting my eye but I have quite a few brushes that I use for that anyway. So when I decided to switch up my highlighting brush I just thought this was the perfect one and I'm not kidding for what for an eyeshadow brush this is so good for highlighting it literally just fits perfectly on my cheekbones it's the perfect size fits down the center of your nose I just feel like it is the perfect highlighting brush for me it's so small and even though it's an eyeshadow brush never diss the eyeshadow brush because you never know what else it could be used for and I'm so glad I randomly just looked at this and thought you'd be a good highlighting brush so I have been absolutely loving this brush been making my highlighter just go on so much easier and because it's quite small it really packs the product on and yeah so if you have the same issue with me or want a really precise highlight definitely try and get some eyeshadow brushes that are got quite a large head on them because he says eyeshadow brushes are only for eyeshadow not me not me i love this brush so for the last makeup product this month i have been obsessed with this kiko eyeshadow now if you watch my makeup tutorials you will already know this but this is the kiko baked duo eyeshadow in the shade 08 and this is like the most perfect highlighting glitter it's so subtle but bright i feel like this and the modern renaissance palette go hand in hand like they're like the perfect duo if this was in the modern renaissance palette i think it would literally be complete this eyeshadow color really suits the light pinks and reds and more colorful colors but this is so pretty and even when i wear quite grungy makeup i feel like this adds a little bit of glamour and girliness to it almost and yeah for the price of this as well Kiko is an amazing brand I absolutely adore their eyeshadows they're so pigmented amazing quality and yeah this definitely if you need an inner corner highlight check this bad boy out definitely oh, I was gonna put it on my cheeks I love this so definitely check this out if you haven't already because I feel like Kiko doesn't get recognised enough and trust me, Kiko is one of the best drugstore brands out there. As well as being so cheap, it also has a bit more expensive parts to the shop. And I just think I pretty much live in Kiko shop near me now. This little guy is amazing. So for fashion, I have two pieces that I have been wearing absolute non-stop this month. And one is so dressy and one is like... I'm going to lounge forever. <laughs> so this is, wow, what a smooth transition. So this is one of my fashion favourites this month. I have been really loving these. So this is um, a basically a black and white knit top that I got in quite a big size. So it went kind of, I could wear it as a dress. Oh, the choke would look so nice with this. I just think this, and obviously with my red lipstick, I have been wearing non-stop this month. It's got a high neck, it's stripy, it's not dead thick, it's so comfy and this was literally from, this was only from Primark and this was, I reckon, I think this was about £5, so cheap and I was like, I need this because it's stripy, stripy is one of my favourite patterns on tops and also I've been really obsessed with stripy clothing items this month, I just love them. And yeah, all month I've pretty much been wearing this and loving this top. So my last fashion favourite is a big one. Like, it's quite large. But, <laughs> I just can't believe how big this is. This is basically what I've been honestly living in. Unless I'm going somewhere really nice. Even when I go out, I try and get away with wearing this. But literally, this is this massive huge grey oversized hoodie now this wow so this is an adult hoodie but it's a cropped grey jumper it's not a hoodie it's a jumper 
and it's got the toggles and when I wear this the length is perfect because I can get away with wearing this with um, almost like a jumper dress on me. I literally have been living in it. The, the sleeves are so big but I have them really ruched up and weirdly enough it looks absolutely fine on me. I will try and like put a clip in somewhere of me wearing it. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing this pretty much every day. It's so bad but I have an obsession with jumpers now. It's just one of my favourite things to wear and I have been loving this so I think I will be living in this for the next 12 months. Now I have one really random f weird food favourite <laughs> and I didn't know whether to put this in but I thought why not I'm crazy as it is and I love food so let's just share our love for food but seriously I have been <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I can't believe I'm doing this like I am a beauty YouTuber and I'm showing food. What is my life? So these are my favourite like of the month of food and not many people know what these are but these are uh, my obsession. I love these. With a cup of tea I know how granny like I am but these are like they're called red covered puffs and they are literally like little I really want to get one out. They are literally, literally, they are literally like little puff pastry kind of things with jam in the middle, and they are so yummy and quite addictive. It's unreal. I love getting in or filming a video and then having a cup of tea in the afternoon and having a raspberry puff. I live for these in the day. I'm so granny like. It's unreal, but I'm proud of that. I love how. I just love my food, I love my cup of tea, and I just think I couldn't be a favourite this month. They're just gorgeous, and yeah. These are from Marks & Spencers, by the way. So, shout out to Marks & Spencers for making the most delicious food ever. So that is everything for the month of March. That has been my absolute favourites, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you haven't already, Please subscribe, every subscriber means so much to me and if you don't know already I have, I have a Snapchat called Makeup Junkie G and I also have a Instagram by the same name Makeup Junkie G and it would be amazing if you could check my Instagram and Snapchat out because Instagram I have everything makeup on there and yeah don't forget to follow the, those social medias. Let me know down below what has been your favourite joy in the month of March because I'd love to know um, any random makeup, fashion, anything like that please let me know down below and I'll see you on Sunday